I don't believe climate change is real. I think it's the way the world yeah, it's works. it's definitely real. You can see it every day. Yeah, I think climate change is real. It's a disgrace. I'm outraged on the outrage level. No, I think it's bullshit. I'm not planning to have a family, so I'm not having to worry about anybody I think, else. I think it could be possibly apocalyptically bad. And what's going on with the weather? It's freaky. It's not a question of whether climate change is happening or not. It's a question of how we respond to it. And these are the issues that we need to deal with today. So Plunge is a walk that allows people to look into the future and see how the cityscape will change. And through that, they'll be able to determine how they're going to react. But that actually looks like quite a good map. Yeah. I do think the strap just, just dips down. Power back up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look. The idea of this that we're marking uh, iconic monuments in London with uh, a simple band of light, a blue band of light, showing what the water line will be in London in 3012. Originally I was interested in this idea of marking the water line across buildings because I'd seen a, a film about the damming of the three rivers in uh, China and how they marked all the buildings with the line where the water would be once the dam was put in place. And if you were under that line, that meant you had to move. And if you're over that line, you're still okay. And that meant a huge migration of over a million people. So the symbol of the line was incredibly poignant for those people, even though it's the smallest of gesture, it impacted on people's lifestyle in an incredibly profound way. These monuments represent a moment in time where Britain was pushing itself in terms of its industrialization and in terms of its colonialization and therefore was living, starting to live far beyond its own means. It's in a way a slight irony that people like the Duke of York here um, will always be above the, the water level no matter how much London is submerged. is not out any longer, yeah. you know, and so if there is um, an integral fundamental link made between climate change and, and the state of the global economy, um, that will scare people. It's in a thousand years, so it feels so surreal, um, so it doesn't feel like it's going to affect me directly. Um, on the other hand, I'm, I'm from Holland, uh, so obviously uh, Holland is, is it's going to be affected by rising water and everything. We're Data, we're three artists that make art in response to particular social contexts. We were invited to work with various groups of people um, exploring the wider political and social issues around climate change. We're meeting here at Duke of York Steps uh, mainly because it's a very convenient spot to meet motorcyclists 
and head off round uh, past Parliament and around Westminster and Lambeth Bridges, but also because that ring there shows where the water is likely to be in whenever it is, a couple of hundred years, if we go on as we are, and cycling is part of the solution. Back to the Duke of York!